What's going on YouTube? Another day, another video. What we have here today is a, a Ford Mustang GT. This is the 4.6 engine, the one with the three balls per cylinder. I'm gonna show you the um, timing marks. On some of the sprockets, you're gonna have an L with an arrow, an R. So obviously, if you're gonna see the engine behind, from behind, this is the left side, which is the driver, right side, passenger. So left side, right side, so now we have the sides, we're gonna go with the markings. Sprocket down here is gonna have a dot. Let me show you the dot. See the, the dot in there? I already marked the dot, the dot. So I also marked the, the, the links on the timing chain. So one link here on the one up. So the one on the bottom, on the dot, on the top one on the left side in here. So that's the timing mark for the left side. Same on the other side, dot on the bottom to the top and it's gonna be here on the right. So that's the marking in here. So that's the timing chain marks. Bottom, up, up. Passenger side, free cylinder is gonna be the number one. That one is gonna be all the way up. And those are the timing marks. She. So from there, you guys already know. The guide first, timing chain, set it on top, put them on the bottom. This bolt in here is gonna be a 15 millimeter in case you have to spin the, uh, the camshaft. Run it up from the bottom, top, in here, down. Timing chain uh, guide, flexible one, the one with the tensioner. Those two bolts are 13 millimeters. It's tiny in between, between 18 and 25 foot, foot pounds. The tensioner has um, comes with the lock. Uh, I already throw the lock away. But I'll lock it up, push it out. Same on the other side, in here and here. Guide chain this one the left side driver side is gonna go first then the right side now, let me see if I can show you the the marks you see the color link and the one behind you I'm sure you, you, you will see the color link but also mark the I put a little a pink dot in there into the incision or little groove or the marking on the on the sprocket so those are the timings there That'll be the timing. It goes for many applications. 5.4, 4.6, many forts. Once you're done, don't forget to install this bad boy. You see the grooves of the sprocket is facing out. The little nails are, po are pointing out. So that's why I marked this one right right when I removed it. So you put them in here. If you don't install this one, your car truck is not going to start. Because this is the reluctor wheel for the... Um, crank crank sensor so that's the one that sends the signal without this one it's not gonna start so now we're good to install the timing cover valve covers intake and we're doing good thanks for watching